Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. And this week I am using the new Friendly Fens Bundle from the 2024-2025 Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog. I adore this bundle. I joke and say, who knew I needed a Hammerhead Shark stamp set? But I did. I love him. He's adorable. Um, but you've also got the dolphin and the stingray and the fish. And it just makes for um, some really fun cards. All right, we're going to get started. My Friendly Fens... Friendly Fens projects this week are a little simpler than last week's projects. I really kind of went over the top last week, so I thought let's go the other way and keep things simple. And this is actually a card that I did for a swap recently. When I make swap cards, because you're making so many, you really have to keep it simple. Okay, the first thing, this is two-step stamping. So I am going to stamp, and to be honest, I can't remember if I used basic gray or smoky slate. I think we use smoky slate, let's do that. Um, it's two step stamping, which means you're gonna stamp the first image in ink, we are using smoky slate, and then you take what I always call the fill-in stamp, and we're gonna use smoky slate, but I want it to be lighter, so I'm gonna stamp off on grid paper and then I'm going to lay it down on here. Let's see how I did. Pretty good. You can use a stamp positioning tool also if you are having trouble getting those um, lined up. And also you can try uh, stamping the second image first. Sometimes that's a little bit easier. Um, play around with it and see which way works best for you. All right, I'm gonna stamp the sentiment here. We're gonna cut this off here in just a little while. Thanks for everything in Azure Afternoon. Now, the dies in this set are really cool because they cut out the images, but they also um, have these extra dies. Like this one right here I really like. This is like coral um, that you would find in the ocean, like a little swim through coral. So we're gonna um, cut that out of Calypso coral. And we've got the hammerhead shark die. We're gonna cut the little fish from Azure Afternoon. We're going to cut, we've got some little coral right here, which we're going to cut from uh, Peach Pie. And then I've got another piece of this designer series paper. This is the um, To Market designer series paper, I believe is what it's called. I'll have the full list on my blog, so make sure that you hop over there and grab it. And we're going to do kind of, I guess this is like a little rock um, out of the matching DSP. We're also going to cut a circle from this piece of, piece of Calypso Coral. And this is um, the largest in the stylish shape uh, dies. I'm just gonna cut that right out of the middle. And then we can line up these things on here. I'm gonna save the shark for last because we wanna make sure that he doesn't slip when we cut him. So we'll just do, we'll load up as much as possible. I'm gonna cut this little piece right here, make it a little bit smaller, and we can run this all through at the same time. All right, put your second plate right on top, and then run through like that. Let's see how we did. There is our circle. Save that circle for something else. We're just gonna use the negative. Um, we've got our fish. Now, if your fish are sticking, which, no, nope, there mine are right there. I'm gonna show you there's two ways to get your dies out. Um, I think the way that I prefer is just to take my take your pick tool and poke it through those little holes. That's what those little holes are for. And uh, it'll pop right out. Let's see how our coral is. Also, gonna use my take your pick tool. Sometimes it's easier to do the top part than the bottom part. We also have a dye brush attachment, which looks like this, that you can take and run over the dye and it will help pop it out. Um, I usually don't have this handy. <laughs> it's usually not where I need it to be, so I tend to use this um, end of the take your pick tool the most. All right, so we've got that. Here are our little fish. We don't want to lose them. All right, now for our shark. My daughter, when she was little, would call hammerhead sharks Abraham sharks. 
like Abraham Lincoln, and she would call Abraham Lincoln Hammerhan Lincoln. <laughs> She'd get them mixed up. I don't know why. I don't know why, but it was funny. All right, there we go. We've got our little shark, and we'll slice off that sentiment. All right, I have a thick white card base, and here's that paper again, the to market to market market fresh something like that i'll have the name and the item number of course on the supply list for you all right we're going to put that right there the measurements will be there too we're going to take this piece and we are going to put a dimensional in each corner that and then I'm going to take this part and you know what I'm going to back up and we're going to do something a little bit different hold on we're going to put this on first and then because I'm using dimensionals for this we're going to double up on our dimensionals on that piece we're going to make it a little bit higher all right so I'm going to kind of let's eyeball it first we want it kind of like that. And then I'm gonna take four more dimensionals and we're gonna stack this up so it's even higher. If you're sending this through the mail, you are gonna to want to use a non-machinable stamp. They're a little bit more expensive, um, but it will uh, ensure that your uh, card gets there. It, when they have dimensionals on there, the post office wants you to use extra, extra postage. All right, now for our little guy, I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of him. And I kind of wanted him swimming out and up like that. All right, now let's get our sentiment. I'm just going to take my trimmer. And I'm gonna slice that, and I don't want it this long. I want it about half an inch longer on each side. Okay, and then we'll take some glue, a little bit of glue on each side. And I'm gonna come down here like this. All right, now here's that polka dot rock, because you know, Polka dot rocks make sense, don't they? We're gonna put that right there. And then we'll take this coral and put it right here. I'm gonna kind of tuck it under. I'm gonna move that coral out a little bit and then snip it off. There we go. Okay, now how about our little fish? You want to just do some tiny dots. One, two, and this is this is a great time to get your take your pick tool also. Like this. Now this guy's little eye is still in, so let's poke it out. There we go. And we'll set him down right there, like that. Okay, now let's embellish. I'm gonna take my baker's twine, just basic white. And I don't want my bow to be too terribly big because it'll overpower our, our project here. Just want a little something, something. Okay, let's see. I find that with this twine, if I cut the piece off, it doesn't twist as much. But if I keep it attached, I know it makes no sense at all, but if I pull it off and tie it like that, then I get that straight bow without all the twisting of the, the loops. Okay. Little glue dot. And take your pick tool. And we're gonna put that right here like that. And then last but not least, I felt like we just needed a little something else. I'm gonna take these awesome little, they're called uh, dapper dots, is that right? No, yeah, dappled dots. These little dappled dots. 
and we'll put these two over here and this is the putty end on your take your pick tool it's just like a little grabber a little picker upper like that and there you go a really simple easy thank you card you can change the sentiment to happy birthday as well to anything really that you'd like all right make sure you click the link here on youtube go over to my blog check out the other two friendly friends projects that i have get that free pdf and let me know if you have questions thanks everybody happy stamping